Now this is the biggest update for someone who is a Java learner or a Java trainer. That's right. Normally for a trainer, you know, you don't see a lot of updates coming up. And then as a trainer, you don't see a new update by saying, okay, I like it. But then as a Java programmer, you get a lot of different updates, right? In fact, in every six months now, we are getting new updates in Java and Java 21 is coming in September. Now, what are the features in Java 21? There are multiple features, but then one feature, which is very important for learners, and for trainers and that is this when you want to teach or when you want to learn java what's the first code you write in fact it's it's true for any language let's say c c plus python javascript doesn't matter what you do is you write hello world and if you talk about python this is how you do it it's so simple right if you talk about c language this is how you do it but if you want to teach java or if you're learning java this is the first hello world code which you see and that's where you feel Java is difficult. In fact, Java is one of the easiest and most structured language available. And that's why most of the companies they are using it because it's, it's easy, it is structured, and it has multiple features. The thing is, I have been training in Java from last 12 years. And then every time I go there to teach about Java, I have to be mentally prepared, you know, because it's easy to talk about the advanced part. But the moment I talk about the basic program, how do you do hello world in Java? Of course, before we do that, we motivate them. We say Java is easy. But then the moment you show this code, they don't feel comfortable because you're focusing on hello world. But then for hello world, you have to write all these keywords, public, class, class name, public, static, void main. Then in bracket, something weird comes into picture, string ARGS with the square bracket and then you write your code there and you end it now when you are explaining this concept of course it's easy to mention main because that's how you can say it's a starting point you easy to mention void because it says we are not returning anything it's very difficult to convince them about why class it's difficult to convince them about public static it's difficult to convince them it's very difficult actually to talk about that string args and that's where as a trainer what we do is we say don't focus on those things we will see them later now, even if you tell your learners that we will talk, we'll see that later, it's very difficult for them to keep, keep it out from their brain because you, they can see it, right? And every time they see it, they, they will have these questions in the mind. Of course, we talk about those things later. We talk about public, we talk about class, we talk about static, we talk about the array as well. But then that's later, right? When they are starting, they will find it difficult. How do you simplify this? In fact, from last few years, the Java team is trying to make Java easy for the learners. And that's why we have different tools available. I will show you those tools. But then this is a new update. And what's the new update? This thing. What if you can write your first Java code like this, not this one, right? This is so simple, right? You simply have void main, easy to explain. You have system.out.println. Oh, they have to work on this. I think in future, they are going to simplify this line as well. But we have void main, bracket, no string RGS, no class, no static, and you, you will get your output. That's right. This is the new update coming up. And if you want to try out, you can just download the JDK 21, uh, the early release or early access, and you can try it out. Uh, today, when I'm recording this video, is still not available. The feature came two days back, and I think the build will be coming in this week. And once the build is available, I will make a video and show you the output. But the build is not available, but that is coming up. If you don't want to wait for the September, and if you want to try it now, you can try it after a few days. But this is the new update. And for learners and for trainers, now this becomes easy. It's not like when you're building a big project, you're going to use this syntax. No, this is only for learning purpose. This is only for training purpose. If you are learning for the first time, and if you want to make it easy, you can use this syntax. But if you want to make a big application, and that's where we have to follow the older syntax. Now, the thing is, now, when you're building a project, of course, you know Java, then all this thing makes sense. In fact, as a Java developer, this thing is something is there in my muscle memory. You can, anytime you can say, hey, write a Java code, I will start typing this line and then think about, okay, what to do next, right? So this is for learning and training purpose, and this is for development. In fact, if you observe this, there's no class. And of course, right, Java is object oriented. So where's the class? What's the class name? So that's where they have introduced unnamed class and uh, instance main method because there's no static keyword there. How exactly this will work and it will follow up, I will, we can only talk about that once uh, they have released 21 because I'm yet to look at the documentation because it's not released yet. So that's one. Now, as I mentioned, this is not the first time Java is doing any major update, right? In fact, they did that before as well. Example, let's say in Python, if you want to print hello world, you simply write print 
hello world, right? It works. In fact, in Java as well, uh, they have introduced something called JShell in the earlier versions. And using JShell, if you want to print one line, you can simply say system.out.println. Or if you want to create a variable, you can say int i equal to nine. You got your variable there, right? So it's not like Java team is not trying to make Java easy. Yeah, to start with, okay? It's an easy language once you learn the concepts. But then to start with, sometimes people find it, find it difficult. One more, let's say if you have a Java code here, and if you want to run this, you have to follow two steps. First, you have to compile the code, right? We say Java C uh, demo dot Java, and then you have to run it. So you have to follow two steps, right? Now they have introduced something called a source code launcher, not a new feature. It's, it was there in the earlier versions as well, last two versions. But now what you can do is you can say Java and you can mention the file name. Now this only works with single file that doesn't work with multiple files, but as a learner, when you are learning the language for the first time, you don't have to write two steps. Write one step, mention Java and the file name, and it works. Okay, so this is the new update. And let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this new update. And I've checked it with some people. A few people are happy with this. Few people are saying, okay, it was okay. You know, we, when we talk about uh, the this syntax here, and uh, when we say, okay, we'll look, we'll look at static later and we'll look at class later, they feel that students are happy with it, but I don't. You know, it's very difficult to convince people to ignore something if it is there in front of you. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure that you share this video with your friends who want to know about this update and uh, do comment your thoughts and subscribe for the upcoming videos. Bye-bye.